Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to learn about how to capture the value changes in a form group. This is part of the reactive forms that we are learning. Most cases, we will require us to track the forms, though Angular does it for us, but we need to keep change of track of the values that are changing. A good use case is like an autocomplete search, right? So when you start typing something, you will see automatic results coming up or some auto completion. So these, these are some of the use cases where you need to track the values that are being changed in the form dynamically. We are going to learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I bring knowledge on modern technology technology stack and frameworks like Angular, Node, Express, MongoDB, React, and much more. I have a passion to share my knowledge with all of you and also to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, I request you if you have any queries, any doubts during the code examples or theoretical explanation, please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking the videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you in advance. On a lot of request, I've created a full Angular 9 tutorial playlist, which has around 46 to 48 tutorials so far, covering all the basics to the advanced concepts of Angular 9. So if you are looking to learn Angular, this is the tutorial series for you. The playlist is in the description box below. So please make sure you check it out to learn and master Angular 9. So for the last few tutorials, we have been focusing on Angular forms and we have learned about the different types of forms. We have seen template driven forms. We have seen reactive or dynamic forms. Uh, today's episode, we are focusing on value changes in the form group. So just to recap, in the previous episodes, we built reactive forms, we added validations, we learned how to get values, how to set values, how to reset the form. Today, we will learn how to track the values that are being changed. So value changes is yet another important property of form control, form group, and form array. So we can use this property on any of these um, modules that are available. Value changes always returns an observable. A lot of you have asked me in the comments that what are observables? How do we use RxJS? How do we use promises? I promise you that I will bring you these tutorials very soon. I am working on them, them creating tutorials for you. So you should expect them soon. For now, understand that value changes returns an observable. So whenever a value is returned as an observable, we have to subscribe to it to listen to or to read the value, right? So remember two concepts, value changes will return an observable. Second, whenever you get an observable, we need to subscribe to it to read the value. Now value changes is a property in abstract control. That's the main class, I would say. Value changes will emit an event every time there is a change in the value of the control changes. Right. So like with, like by the name itself says that whenever there is a value changes means whenever there is a change in the value, it will automatically event. Uh, it will trigger an emit an event and which is returning an observable. So this is about the explanation of value changes on form group. Let's see a practical of how to actually implement it. So there are two ways to do it. There are two approaches, I would say one you can use this value changes on an individual form L control, right? We can use it at an individual form element or form control. The second is to read the entire form, right? So remember now these are two methods. So if like the first example I gave you where we talked about auto completion, right? Auto complete there. We need to track an individual form element. That is the search box. As soon as you start typing, it should capture the value and return you the matching results. This is an exa classic example of using value changes for form controls. But in most cases, you might want to track the form that is entire changed and on submit. We'll see both of them in action. Let's get to practical and see that in action. 
all right so the story so far uh, let me show you the application so we have this reactive form which we built uh, over the past couple of episodes uh, it has validations it's a reactive form um, it is disabled we can clear the form right so we can clear the form we can reset it basically so if you have missed out on those tutorials please do check it out so let's continue building on this so i'm going to go to my application and i'll go to checkout which is the form and this is my temp, the reactive form that we built last in few episodes so now we are trying to use the value changes so first i will show you the value changes that happens okay so the classic example of which is putting it on um, the form element itself right so let's put that on ng change so what we'll do is we'll go to so we can define uh, ng on in it okay so here i will write this dot form name that is our form name is dot uh, checkout form then we will say dot now here we will use value changes right so value changes is nothing but we are tracking the value change on this particular form element right so on what field we want to use that right that's important so here if you see i am mentioning the form name field right so we need to mention the form name field so what we'll do is we'll say get and we will check the name of the field that we are using so the name of the field that we are using is email address control so the form control name that is email address take it here put it in the get items dot value changes right now again like i said this is this will return a observable so we need to write subscribe and here we are using the arrow function to read that value right and let's just console log for now i will say data right so i have written a implementation that on ng on in it start tracking the changes or the value changes for this particular form control right now let's start the application it will take a couple of minutes but stay with me while we are waiting on this i request you to if you're liking the video if you're enjoying this tutorial give a like to this video and if you have not yet subscribed please do so all right so this way we have now let me make some quick comments and notes here for you uh, provide the form control name uh, for which we want to read the values on change okay now this can be anything right the form control name uh, can be any input type on your form it can be a checkbox drop down select whatever it is it can be in our case right now this is an input okay now let's see the output so here we have the output let me open console and clear any logs we may have okay so it's empty now i click on it now see i'm going to type here a r you see here changes a and r now let's type c at tutorials.com so you see we are capturing all the values now delete so we see you see these values are being tracked on real time right so these are called the value changes now this is how you can capture for any value change be it drop down input select select uh, or input type equal to checkbox radio the idea is to on key up right the event that is triggered is on key up notice again i i i focus on it nothing happens now i'll press some character and key up that is tu and it captures the value right so similarly if you want to just capture uh, uh, what i'll do is i'll just create a data binding quickly to show you or you can just have it in the element itself right so here i'll say value tracked value change tracked equal to uh, it's a string so but we don't have to necessarily mention it as a string um, we can use it um, so we can usually basically uh, just enter a default value and say this okay so 
all right so i gave a default value for this now we will assign this value and here we'll say this dot equal to data right so what we are doing we are just assigning that value to this and we can go to our form and just do a data binding to see that value right i'll say um, entered value is Okay, so now let's see this here. Now I will now start seeing it here that it's we don't need console anymore. So now start seeing it here that it will start showing the value right here, right? So you're capturing on value change on everything that you change. You're tracking the value every time it is changed. So this is one of the classic examples of where you can use uh, the value changes for each form control now let's say I have an entire form right so whenever there is a value change in the form we can listen to the entire form let's see that now so again let's go back now this is an example let me comment down here so just way you know right now now we are trying to read the entire value that every time there is a change in the value of the form so you'll write this dot checkout dot value changes dot subscribe again it's an arrow function right so what I'm doing here is I am reading the entire value of the form every time there is a change in any field remember the difference is whenever there is any change in any form control in form will emit the event right here only when this field is changed we will emit that value right but here here we have mentioned explicitly that track only this field here we are saying track the entire form so when you do there is any change it will trigger and it will console log the data so let me comment this off just to show you the difference first right now let's go back now open console all right you see here this entire form is getting captured every single time the values see it's capturing the values every single time the moment there is a change it will capture see so this way you can capture the entire form whenever there is a value change in any form control and that is the beauty of it right so give it a try let me know how it goes in the next episode I'm going to show you about status changes because that's very very important and I'm sure in any projects that you work you will have to track the status and that's what we are going to learn in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining. I will request you to try the code samples that I've given, practice with me and let me know if you have any doubts. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.